Magandang araw na naman kabayan. Alam nyo ba kung bakit ginawa ang San Juanico Bridge? Ginawa ito bilang regalo ni former President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. kay Ginang Imelda Marcos, ang tinaguriang Rose of Tacloban sa kanyang birthday. Nag-umpisang gamitin itong tulay na to noong 1973 pagkatapos ng tatlong taong construction. Panuorin po natin kabayan kung ano ang ginawa ng tourism dito sa Bridge of Love. That will be a big boost to tourism as we have seen in uh, many other cities. Uh, Public Works and Highways Secretary uh, Manny Bunuan, the uh, DILG Secretary Ben Hur Abalos, and uh, a native, and the uh, Secretary of Presidential and Management Staff, uh, Secretary Maria uh, Naida Angpin. Some are second district representative, uh, Michael Tan and other members of the House of Representatives here, uh, many who I've not seen for a long time. Some are province governor, Sherry and Tan, and the other governors that uh, are here present, uh, Santa Rita Municipal Mayor, Jade Kitio Magallanes, uh, Tacloban City Mayor, Alfred Romualdez, Tiesa, the Tiesa Chief Operating Officer, Mark Lapid. All my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, maupay nga gabi, haninyong tanan. It is my pleasure to welcome you all as we witness the lighting of an iconic landmark and a marvel of engineering, the San Juanico Bridge. First off, I would like to thank the local government of Samar for extending this kind invitation to witness this uh, historic and uh, also give me an excuse to come home for a little while. I could not pass up the chance to be here with you all today as this bridge holds a special place in my heart that it is one of the flagship projects completed during the administration of my late father. In fact, it was my father who spearheaded the inauguration of the bridge. So you can all imagine how genuinely delighted I am to be present to witness the lighting as your president. Beyond physically connecting the provinces of Samar and Leyte, the San Juanico Bridge has become a well-known landmark and a symbol of unity for the people of the two islands which it serves. Set against the picturesque San Juanico Strait and the beautiful Philippine sky, the bridge has always been a sight to behold. So much so as it has garnered fame and renown as a must-see attraction for Filipinos and foreign visitors alike. I thus stand here eager to see this structure come to life once more as we witness its lighting with pride and with this celebration thanks to the tireless efforts of today's organizers. With the recent completion of the San Juanico aesthetic lighting project, I look forward to seeing the bridge turn into a true sight to behold, not just during the day, but now even in the dark at night. I look forward to the economic opportunities that will be simulated by this, as well as other spark summer initiatives in the near future. I eagerly anticipate the assistance it will bring for the complete recovery of the two to tourism industry in the eastern Visayas and nearby areas. So I must uh, uh, extend my warmest congratulations and appreciation to the officials of both the provinces of Leyte and of Samar, the Department of Tourism, the Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority, and every single person who work very well and tirelessly to maintain and further, be and further beautify this already impressive bridge. The joint efforts of both the government and non-government entities in this endeavor are commendable. And it is these particular partnerships which we have tried to encourage as we begin to transform the economy of the Philippines in a post-pandemic world. And so you, 
once again have led the way. It is fundamental in our pursuit of programs, this kind of cooperation that you have done, and pro it will programs and projects that will boost the tourism and economic development of Samar and Leyte. After all these years, after overcoming postponements and restrictions brought about by the pandemic, the result of your dedication and perseverance will now be shown in its full glory. Every day henceforth, this bridge will stand as it has stood since the beginning as a staunch reminder of the rewards awaiting our collaborative endeavor. And come nighttime, as people are mesmerized by the wonderful display put up at this scenic spot, let it exemplify how we hold the power to add value, purpose, and grace onto our nation. Let the lights of this bridge also signal our resolve to make our islands even more connected by filling its gaps with displays of ingenuity, creativity, and openness, so that progress may move freely among us. With this, it is my earnest desire that this event will encourage the local governments of Samar and Leyte, its people, as well as every Filipino, to pursue programs that will not only result to significant enhancements to our infrastructure, but will also pave the way for long-lasting impacts in the lives of our fellow Filipinos. I would also like to point out to our good governor that San Juanico Bridge was not built for Leyte. San Juanico Bridge was built for Samar. <laughs> the San Juanico, I remember it very well because my mother was saying, as you said, you were watching, you watched the development of Leyte, of Tacloban, and uh, uh, the, the, and this I'm talking before Yolanda, and uh, the progress that was being brought to, to Leyte. And she said, she was saying, it only got, arrives hanggang Leyte lang. Eh, kanya, sabi niya, bakit naman hanggang Leyte lang? Eh, paano yung, yung mga waray na nasa Samar? And uh, that is why it was very, very important that this bridge be built to uh, give Samar the, uh, the advan some of the advantages that Tacloban has, that this, the island, the province of Leyte has. And so, as you to, to, uh, to respond to uh, your cry, na Samar naman, uh, I would like to say, dati pa naman Samar na. Rest assured that this administration will stay the course to provide whatever you need to enhance, preserve, and showcase the best that you have to offer. It's my hope that in everything we do, even the most mundane activities in our daily lives, that it be our goal to enrich other people's lives. Let us contribute in whatever way we can. In the coming days, this bridge and its vibrant lights will welcome motorists, will welcome visitors who will cross it as a welcome site for those seeking relaxation or release. But for now, I share a childlike excitement with you as we have watched the bridge light up the night and show us all its splendor and glory in the night. Once again, my warmest congratulations to everyone here and uh, let us enjoy the show. Damo sa